This is graphing a quadratic equation in intercept form. Intercept form is y equals a times x minus p times x minus q. And here we have an example y equals negative x minus 3 times x plus 1. And the reason why this is called intercept form is because it's easiest to graph the x-intercepts first. And the x-intercepts are where the y value is equal to 0. So if you set y equal to 0, we have negative x minus 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. And then you can use the zero product property to realize that when x is equal to 3, or when x is equal to negative 1, that's when we have a y value of 0, since 3 minus 3 is 0, and 0 times whatever this would be would be 0. And then negative 1 plus 1 is 0, and 0 times whatever that would be would be 0. So then you can, you can plot your x-intercepts. So make sure you have an x and y axis with a scale. I'll quick put a scale on there. And so we have an intercept at x equals to 3. That's here. That's, that's the point um, 3, 0. And we also have an x-intercept at negative 1 here. This is the point negative 1, 0. So the next thing you want to do is plot your vertex. <clears throat> in this point, in this case, the vertex is going to be a maximum point. Since our a value is negative, our graph is going to open down, and our vertex is going to be a maximum point. But first, when you graph an intercept form, the first thing you want to find in order to plot the vertex is the axis of symmetry. And recognize that you have two x-intercepts here. The axis of symmetry has got to be directly in between them. And so there's one, two, three, they're four units away from each other. So if you both move in two units from each of these intercepts, you'll see that the axis of symmetry is the line x equals to 1. Since this intercept is 1, 2 away, and this intercept is 1, 2 away. So that means that the x value of your vertex is 1. So we want to put the y value. You just plug 1 in. So the y value is negative 1 minus 3 times 1 plus 1, which is negative, negative 2 times 2, which is positive 4. So the vertex is the point 1, 4. So plot the point 1, 4. It's here. And you know that your problem opens down, so everything looks good. And you have the three points, so go ahead and Watch your parabola, draw your parabola. So that's how you graph a quadratic equation in intercept form. This is the easiest way to do it. A lot of students want to carry out this multiplication and then carry out this multiplication and then graph using the standard form. But this is way quicker, this is way faster. So this is how you graph an intercept form, and that's math-tastic.